like I just want to know um, what real for um, forex is, like real forex. Okay, so um, forex, like the name suggests, is simply foreign exchange market, right? So uh, it has to do with like uh, exchanging of one international currency for another, right? So I'm sure you have um, exchanged a foreign currency into another one before, like maybe someone gifted you dollars and then you went to change it to get a cities right by this time when we talk about the way we trade it then it's literally done online so it's not necessarily like the physical holding dollars and going to a forex bureau and exchanging but the um, mechanism in which we trade has the same process and what is a uh, forex pace when it comes to um, trade forex pace? okay so you see when it comes to trading um or when it even comes to like forex you cannot just have one currency and then want to change it into the same currency. Okay. That logic does not even make sense. If you have one currency and then you want to change it, obviously you are looking to change it into another currency, right? So just like maybe you have um, Ghana cities, right? But you travel to Nigeria, you'll be wanting to spend Naira. You can't spend your Ghana cities in Nigeria, right? So uh, because you are going to change your Ghana cities into naira right then it means that we have to peg the two and give you a general exchange rate so that's why even in trading currencies are always paired in the sense that we are anticipating that you are changing one currency for another currency right yeah oh, okay so i get you right um i'm having like i do have um, um like issues like concerning um like leverage in, yeah like, for us Leverage. leverage can you explain the thing about leverage right it's like um finance finance wise it's more like a tool that helps you um trade larger account larger amount of money with your small amount right so let me put it to a layman's understanding let's see see leverage as um you having 500 right but i will give you uh 900 and you haven't 500 but i'm planning on giving you 9500 to add up to your 500 but that that way you have 10000 now right okay. you had 500 dollars but i have yeah. given you my own 9500 okay. right yeah. now you have what um 10000 dollars to trade with right okay. now with that 10000 dollars you are able to trade what larger or you are able to exchange larger amount of transaction oh, okay but if you're gaining you're gaining because you you use what my uh, 9,500 couple with your 500 to make more moves, bigger moves. Oh, okay. But if you're losing, right, I will make sure that you lose only up to your 500 so that it doesn't affect my 9,500. 9, okay. So leverage is like a tool that brokers give to new traders or retail traders, right? Okay. Not even new, every trader, so that their small trading accounts can trade larger transactions. All right. Do you understand? Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, okay. Let's say I'm in Africa and uh, I want to trade. Um, what's the best time for me to trade a forex? You see, trading is one of the most decentralized um, jobs, occupation, or endeavor. Right? right. It doesn't have any specific time which is like right or wrong to trade. Right. But uh, once you come to grow into the industry, you will learn what we call trading strategy right okay. and then depending on the strategy that you may have felt comfortable with or believe in that is what somewhat may determine what could be the favorable time to be trading in but apart from that i can't really tell you that in africa okay. we have a specific time for trading okay all right so like um can i also know um uh, which forex pairs move the most like the pairs okay so you see in forex we have a record the um exotic currency pairs right exotic are those ones that are like you know lessly traded and then we have like the main currency the pairs main that are actively traded right okay, okay so the main ones you'd have in the likes of gbp usd which is the pound versus the united states dollar euro usd which is actually one of the most traded currency pairs, which is the united euro versus the united states dollar and then um let's see another one could be uh, pound Japanese, right? So we have a few actively traded ones and then exotic ones. So I think that should answer your question. Okay, all right. And also, uh, uh, um, like, can you give me some examples of uh, the volatile ones? 
so 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 the actively traded ones are actually like the volatile ones oh, okay you know okay. so volatile in the sense of trading actually means that the one that has like more movement you know okay. they move a lot a lot okay. yes okay all right and also like why like why do forex traders normally fail okay so i would say the number one reason why a lot of forex traders mm -hmm. fail is okay. lack of proper preparation and proper knowledge before they endeavor oh, into okay. it okay. so somebody okay. told them oh forex money day inside oh look yeah, at this yeah. guy he's a forex trader he's driving oh, okay. this car he has bought his house so they think like, i have to get it okay not knowing the deeper process the person went through yeah. to get to where they they got to right so a lot okay. of people fail because of like i would say lack of proper preparation and maybe number two will be lack of adequate capital you know okay, I mean? okay. Yeah, maybe the person has had a little bit of knowledge, but they are starting to trade with, let's say, um, um, $50, right? And then they are thinking the $50, they're supposed to make like maybe $1,000 out of the 50 or the maybe $10,000. Okay. You know, that greed and everything sets in and then they literally they like literally lose the money. So like, it means that like we have to uh, learn a lot yes before you before you, 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 you delve into Forex. Yes, oh, you, have, okay. you need proper knowledge, proper, proper knowledge. preparation. Okay. Right. I tell people that um, if you want to learn Forex and then you have to see, you want to get to like the success point of Forex, okay. see yourself as maybe a junior high student who wants to attain a, a professor degree. You know that what? Yeah. You have to go through senior high school, university, right. yeah. masters, you know, you learn a lot. a lot. So to get good in Forex, that's the process that you can, you can follow. Oh, okay. That's why like I normally lose a lot. That's why I'm also asking you this question yeah, this question is here for okay, me to gain a it. lot okay and also um um when is the best time for you to um, buy and sell like in forex so when it comes to like the best time to buy and sell it all has to do with technicals they are okay, not things okay. that i can explain theoretical okay because okay. it has everything to do with like the strategy you are using to trade oh, okay. you know okay yeah like one thing you know like a friend of mine asked me whether um uh, forex trading will ever end and, <laughs> and i want to know that like will forex trade ever you end? see forex has always existed from the 90s right oh, okay but okay. when it comes to the retail side of forex it recently got introduced right not recently as in some okay. two years or five years ago it's been also in existence let's say over a decade now but okay. when i say the retail side i mean like you and i ordinary people that can literally put their money into a trading account and say i'm trading right okay one of the days it was meant only for institution big banks you know exchange money among themselves okay. but with the influx of technology personal computers laptops and internet right okay. then uh, financial innovativeness right. then we were able to like you know get on board onto the financial market of trading currencies right but okay. if forex will end then you're literally saying that will retail traders at some point be prevented from participating on the forex market, market. that is something that can likely okay but okay. i don't see it coming anytime soon because so far there hasn't been any massive you know um Thing around it around. that will okay. prevent that yeah okay okay all right and uh i want to also ask like is 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 forex uh, signals uh, reliable you see the thing about forex signals is one sensitive thing to talk about right because um number one depends on who are you taking the signals from from okay you understand me how well do you trust the person's knowledge and understanding oh, right so that's the source that's the source how well do you understand the person you're taking okay. therefore and then even with the person you're taking the trading signals from do you kind of resonate with their style of trading okay. because imagine that you are um, a scalper you want quick quick profit and then you're taking trade signal from somebody who is a swing trader you are holding their trades for two days three days okay. you cannot really resonate with their style oh, or okay. the other way around you understand me so it's not okay. even only about how good the person is also about how the person's strategy or style of trading resonates Resonate. with you right okay. so i feel like the best thing when it comes to forex signals is that you have to follow that person know that person resonates with the person you're following you want to like emulate that person's strategy that way if you're taking the person's signals you're more like learning their entry strategy indirectly okay. but if you feel like okay you just want to depend on the signals make money yeah that could work in some instance but some instance to you could be disappointed oh, okay. you know okay. yeah all right and uh, this thing i've been baffling me a lot um where where forex money uh, comes from like where does it come from like their money forex <laughs> so you see forex is a zero-sum game 
Okay. What is zero sum game means that when somebody is losing, somebody is winning. winning. Okay. You understand? Right, because right. it's what a buy and sell buy going and sell. on. So okay. if we are saying two of us are saying buy, somebody is saying sell. sell. If it goes buy, obviously the sell lost. And okay. if it goes sell, the obviously the buy won. You understand me? Okay. So the Thank broker you. is a middleman who only makes difference or his profit from like the spreads, the you know, spreads. Okay. the exchange difference. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Can forex trading be a full time job? Like, can it be a full time job? Ac actually, I am a full time trader. Okay. So, obviously, it would be bizarre to, for me to say <laughs> it can be a full time job, you know, but it's not an easy process yeah. to get to that full time level of um, actively trading on the market and making all your streams of income or source of livelihood from profits from the market because they are like continue there are difficult times in the market where like things are not going to be like you know very smooth for you okay. so for you to make forex like a full-time job you need a solid in-depth life plan not even trading plan you understand me before okay. you can actively become like a full-time trader okay okay all right so um um like i also want to know um which which forex trading platform is the best for so you see, when you talk about trading platform, the most popular one is the MetaTrader 4. You know, okay. that's okay. very easy to use. And then, um, I mean, generally it's everywhere. But trading platform, you must know that it's very different from bro brokerage platform. Okay. So if you're talking about brokerage, more like you can, you can compare broker to a bank. You know, you have different banks. And then every different bank has their own services. services you can't yeah. compare Ghana Commercial Bank with Echo Bank. Echo you know, yeah, you're so right. if you're talking about brokers, then you can have like some things. But trading platform, the most popular one is MetaTrader. Meta yeah. Okay, all right. Okay, and how much, like how much capital, um, like how much, like can I, like no, like let me put it this way, um, how much capital do I need for um, forex trading? How much capital do you need? You see, every broker has their own capital you can start trading with. All right. right? Okay. It's like opening a bank account. Somebody can say you can start with 10 Ghana cities, oh, 5 okay. Ghana cities. Okay, okay. So in broker, in brokerage, some brokers will tell us minimum is $200. Some will say minimum is $1. So talking about how much, it depends on the broker. Okay. You know but if you want to go deeper into asking what capital can make you like a success in the of a full time okay. then you're asking something different you okay, understand okay, me? Okay, yeah okay okay all right and why is it that uh, forex trading is better than stocks well to some extent not like generally right forex trading i wouldn't necessarily say better as in like it has anything so different from stocks but um forex allows you um easy access or easy entry Okay. Right, okay. where you can easily trade with your five dollar, ten dollar, hundred dollar stocks. You can't just start trading with like that kind of small amount, right? Oh, okay. And then forex also has like a wide margin, which is like what you ask the leverage. Okay. In stocks, you can't have like leverage of one is to four hundred, and then volatility, right? In forex, you have a daily trading volume of over six trillion. In stocks, you don't really get like a lot of oh, okay. volume transaction okay. going on like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Can can uh, can forex trading be self taught? Yes, okay. forex can be self-taught, but you must understand that um, you would go through a lot of learning curve as a self-taught trader, okay. you know, because you can't just wake up one day and say, I'm going to be self-taught, and then next month you want to be the expert trader. Okay. It can take you as much as three years, but it's a worthwhile journey to go through if you really want to be a full-time trader or you want to be self-taught, you know. Okay. But just know that it will take you a lot of years. All right. Okay, so like in every system, like there is um, someone who controls it. So like who controls the Forex market? Well, it's a very ambiguous question to ask because okay. uh, it's a decentralized market. market you know, okay. unlike the stock market where the stock exchange controls its Forex market, mm -hmm. we are meant to believe that nobody controls prices. You know, it's okay. just uh, the forces of demand and supply right that controls the market not one person but uh, if you go deeper macro wise right we okay. have like uh, big players like the um, uh, big banks who has huge capital or deep pocket okay. to influence prices shortly in the short term depending on their bias okay but that does not necessarily mean they are controlling the market Markets. right okay. and sometimes you can have central bank intervention right okay. where maybe a country's a country's particular central bank sees that their exchange rate is being too devalued or too overvalued you know and they can step in to change things which will short-termly 
affect price movement but okay. that's like as far as controlling can go okay all right and 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 i learned that like all forex uh, markets close um, on weekends yeah uh, okay i want to know whether some open on weekends you see if you're talking about um, um cryptocurrency cryptocurrencies okay. they run even over weekend but forex on the retail level they close on weekends okay. but on the institutional level forex doesn't close on weekend okay yeah okay all right okay i think that's great um okay and also like i uh, um uh, uh forex demo uh, accounts rigged demo account yeah. no they are not rigged. not rigged you see the prices that you see on the real account is the same thing that you're going to see when you're trading a demo account the difference here is that with demo you are not um emotionally attached because you know that you have nothing to lose, to lose. but with a real account <laughs> in, immediately your emotions get attached to the money you funded <laughs> that's what make people succeed in the demo account and fail in the real account oh, but okay. the demo account is not rigged <laughs> oh, okay 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 all right so um i also want to ask this uh like we are left with some few questions then yeah yeah then i'll be okay with you yeah um are forex courses worth it forex courses yeah <laughs> you see all these are like a little bit sensitive because okay. it has to do with who you're trying to learn from True. you know right. so if you have found somebody that you like is or you kind of know the person personally and then you've seen that this person has improved their way of life why don't you take the risk of learning from them by purchasing their courses, you know? Rather than randomly seeing a stranger and say, okay, I'm going to learn this person's course. That's as much as I can talk about, like, Forex courses. Oh, okay. And also, like, if I want to invest in Forex, like, when can I invest in Forex um, trading? As in giving your money to somebody? Yeah. That is one thing that I wouldn't recommend everybody doing or anybody doing. Forex is a self or individualistic thing, you know? You have to be able to learn and then trade for yourself rather than trying to think that you're going to give your money to somebody unless the person has been um well i say um you know the person very well you, you know based on relation or perhaps like is a a, a well-founded institution or that has like some form of regulation okay. you know that they are they are an operating body that you can trust your money with other than that i don't think it's very wise to go around looking for random people to give your money to to trade for you Oh, okay all right so like uh, um our last but not the least um when when our forex um when are the forex trading sections like like uh, can you give me the exact time okay so when it comes to like the forex trading session it depends on number one your geographical location, location. so okay. if you talk about ghana looking into the london asian and new york session right um it starts from i think london session starts from like 7 a.m to about let's say 3 or 4 p.m and okay. then we have an overlap between the new york and the london session which is like new york opens at 12 p.m and then we'll close around 8 p.m and the asian session start from like 8 p.m all through to like you know in the morning again so it's like a 24-hour market all right okay could you forex thanks a lot i've learned a lot from you <laughs> yeah, yeah, seriously like you know like like i do make a lot of mistakes but yeah through through all these questions like yeah. i've learned a lot from you incredible so like so like you have more time to talk later sure no problem all right, all right have Thank a good you. one <laughs> you too. bye